Hello friends, welcome to part 1 of multi-vendor e-commerce series in Laravel 12. In this part, we are going to install Laravel 12 and we'll configure our database. So, you can bookmark and follow the complete multi-vendor e-commerce series. This playlist you can bookmark at your end. And if you have missed the last part, then please watch this part. Uh, the link is here. So, you can find all these instructions under video. So you can check out and can follow uh, this last part in case you have not watched that. And we are going to take these steps in this part. We are going to install Laravel 12. We are going to create a MySQL database. We are going to configure database and we are going to run database migrations in this particular part. So let's start. So uh, first of all, we are going to install Laravel 12. I have explained earlier that how we can install Laravel 12. We require two things to install Laravel 12. We require the Apache server and we require the composer. Okay. So this one I have explained earlier as well. If you don't have the Apache server, then you can install that Apache server uh, from this link. You can download and install that. Uh, you can download Zap, you can download Web or any other Apache server. You can go for the latest version as per your operating system. This one I have already explained in our earlier videos and you can download the composer as well. There is the website getcomposer.org. Uh, okay, so this is required for installing the packages and for installing the Laravel as well. So you can download the composer window setup. You can just simply download this and can install uh, on your system. Okay. And I have also explained that how you can install the composer on Mac operating system in case you are having Mac. So you can simply uh, open my channel, Stack Developers. Please subscribe to the channel as well. And you can uh, just simply go to the playlist and uh, simply click on playlist and go to the Laravel 12 tutorial. And here you can see all the videos, all the earlier videos, like in case you want to know that how to install the ZAMP or how to install the Composer on Windows. So you can see the earlier videos. It's clearly mentioned. Install ZAMP and Composer for Laravel 12 on Windows. Okay. And how to install Laravel 12 on Windows. Step by step process. Okay. So the complete process I have explained. And for Mac as well. Okay. So please watch the earlier videos. Uh, you can just check out this Laravel 12 playlist. Okay. And you can watch all the earlier videos to download the ZAMP as well as the Composer. Okay. So after downloading these two things, we are ready to install the Laravel 12 that we are going to install straight away for our project. Okay. So we are going to run this command. But before that, uh, I am going to run my ZAMP. Okay. So it is located in my D drive. So I'm going to run the Apache as well as the MySQL. Here I'm going to, going to run once again. The ZAMP version is 8.2.12 and you can check out its PHP version as well. PHP 8.2 is required for Laravel 12. Uh, it is same as Laravel 11 as well. So make sure that you are having this PHP version 8.2. Okay. Now we are ready to install Laravel 12. So this command I am going to run here. I will go to my SEDocs folder. So inside this I am going to run this command. I will right click. Uh, show more options. And also you can install the git bash. So git bash is same as command prompt. Okay. You can simply install. So it, it will become easier to run the commands. You can just go inside the folder. And can run your composer and artisan commands. Okay. So here I want to. Uh, run this one okay and i will give the name here product name i am going to give the name as ecom12 okay so this one i'm going to give for my project ecom12 so my installation has just begun and uh, it is installing laravel 12.0.1 version okay so it will take few minutes you can also download the git bash if you don't have the git bash then simply search here download git bash you can simply open this one so it's for the windows only because in mac we are already having the terminal it's still running so we are going to wait for a few minutes so in the meantime we can take further steps we can 
uh, I'm going to create a MySQL database. Okay, so we will keep the same name. We are going to keep the ecom 12. I'm going to create the MySQL database uh, here. I'm going to open the PHP my admin. So you can see uh, here, I'm going to open these databases and we'll create ecom 12 database. Okay, so I'm going to check. So it's still running. So now uh, after this, so after creating the database, uh, the next step is to configure the database and that we can only do once the installation will complete. Okay, so we are going to wait for the installation to complete. You can watch the last part if you have not uh, watched that. So you can watch the last part in case you have missed it. I have given the complete overview of the multi vendor e commerce website. Okay. It has been installed, you can see. Okay, so uh, now we are uh, we are ready to configure the database. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to check the folder uh, inside the SU docs. The folder is ecom12. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put the folder inside personal. Uh, this is my personal project, so I'm going to put it inside the personal. Okay, so here it is ecom12. Okay, so I'm going to see the folder structure once and here you can see the structure of laravel 12 and here in app http controllers okay so structure seems to be same as laravel 11 and uh, here bootstrap and okay so config inside config are these files and under database are migration seeders factories okay so under public uh, here we are going to show all the images extra and sources okay so routes are here okay and uh, storage test and vendor okay so it seems to be similar to uh, laravel 11 okay so now uh, we are going to uh, open this one in sublime okay you can uh, use the editor of your choice okay so now i'm going to open its database dot env and here you can see that instead of sqlite we want to use the mysql so here we are going to mention the mysql and this hash we are going to remove this hash okay and the database name is ecom12 so these settings we are required to do and the same settings i have mentioned in the doc as well okay you can see mysql and ecom 12 is our database and here php uh, the, that password is not required so we can keep it empty and after that we are going to run this php addition migrate command so that all the default tables automatically created okay so uh, now we are going to in going inside our folder project folder cd personal ecom 12 and here we are going to run this command php addition migrate that will help us to create required tables in our database php artisan migrate so it will populate the database with all the required tables and yes it has been done now we are going to check here ecom 12 yes default tables have been created okay and you can see the sessions table also get created that is in the laravel 11 as well we can see okay and users table uh, is created as well that uh, we are going to use okay we are going to modify later on uh, so uh, the default tables have been created in uh, for our ecom 12 project and uh, so these are the steps that we have taken in this part first and in part two we are going to download an integrate admin template okay we are going to use the latest admin lte template that is uh, really a beautiful responsive bootstrap template so that template we are going to use for our multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel 12 so stay tuned for the next part and do subscribe this tech developers youtube channel for more updates okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye